All right, everybody, my name is DeCall Thomas, the second round table, Forest Fen's first stanza. As I've gone alone in there and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secret wear and hint of riches new and old. Uh, if we know that the first clue is begin it where warm waters halt, then what is this above the first clue? Now, obviously, in a literal way, this is the first clue because it's the first stanza of the poem, the first sentence of the poem. But possibly, Fenn is alluding to the idea or drawing attention to the first stanza in a very unique way. Perhaps in the past tense, I have gone alone. So perhaps, like Sean Dotson has said, that have gone is past tense was written after the treasure was hidden very interesting idea he's speaking in past tense i believe it's also alluding to the many ways that he has gone alone in different adventures trials battles difficulties secret things and other As, first word, I believe it is the key word, as, and surprisingly this is the symbol for arsenic, A-S. Now there's, there may be a very convincing argument for arsenic because arsenic is a yellow stone and could be the missing double X. The symbol for arsenic is the double X and is very likely the cause of forest fens kidney cancer. We don't know for sure, but uh, I have asked Forrest Fenn about that, and he only acknowledges that yes, he drank the water, and yes, he has kidney cancer. Uh, if you look at this graph, these highest amounts of arsenic are from the Madison River near West Yellowstone, and most likely those came from water readings uh, near Barnes Hole, somewhere between Madison Junction and uh, West Yellowstone. Okay, and if you look at these quantities, uh, somewhere between five, six, seven hundred, whatever the units are, this is like a blazing pointing arrow to this 10 miles of river mentioned in Too Far to Walk. I don't think people realize that the highest concentration, one of the highest concentrations of arsenic in the Rocky Mountains, probably the most well-defined source of arsenic in any area is the 10 miles of river that Forrest Finn talked about it. And surprisingly, that kicked off the entire, this entire adventure, this entire game is because of Forrest Finn's cancer in 1988. Uh, so I don't mind using this as the key word. Um, I-11 could also be another pointer to the Yellowstone area, 111. Uh, it's a very interesting correlation. It matches the latitude for West Yellowstone, 111. Have gone, past tense. Uh, uh, there's many interesting ideas out there on that. One alone could represent Eric Sloan. Uh, the definition or meaning of the name Eric is one alone or one ruler. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, in there, uh, as Shannon mentioned, uh, in there is a very interesting idea. It seems to be a part of the many places or many ways that he went alone in there. In uh, seems to be a very important word. My treasures, I like what Toby was uh, saying about my treasures, my treasures bold. Uh, what are forest fence treasures? Uh, there's not enough time to go into all of these. Keep my secret where I believe this is, this means keep his secret under his hat or keeps many secrets, uh, to himself or keeps them secret. All right. Hint of riches. Uh, surprisingly, hint of Henrich, uh, or Eric Sloan's last name was actually Henrich, and this could be another pointer to Eric Sloan in the first stanza. And I think this is important because there's pointers to Eric Sloan in the first and last stanza. There are other pointers in the first and last stanza that are parallel. All right, new and old, uh, 
I like the idea of uh, old gold nuggets and new gold coins. Uh, so I believe, uh, uh, going fast, uh, as I've gone braving in the wood, okay, this is like Forest Fen's challenge to us. As and gold um, are parallel with each other. First and last word, both elements, both yellow stones. Eric Sloan, this could be one alone talking about Eric Sloan and in my solve, Mini Hollywood, Braven in the Wood, Eric Sloan again, reverence for wood, also possibly pointing to Mini Hollywood. All right, so Forest Fen's, Fen's challenge to each of us is to be Braven in the Wood as he was in the many different occasions. And he's trying to let us know, I have gone alone in there in these different adventures. I made my fortune in the art business. I took a chance. I, I pursued the, my different passions. Uh, Mini Hollywood is a great example for Braven in the Wood. Fought in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Uh, anyway, no time to go into all these, but I believe there is a parallel idea between the first and the last stanza where Forrest Fenn is challenging us to be brave in the wood just like he has. All right. Thanks, everybody. A little bit long, but thank you.